Hi y'all, welcome to Donna's Farmhouse Kitchen. Well, today I'm making you one of those cakes for many occasions. Um, this is usually something that I make at Christmas time. It is a breakfast cake, but uh, we eat it all day long. It's not just for breakfast. It's a recipe that was given to me by one of my friends and uh, I just love this cake. And everybody who has had it loves it. I have sold this cake. And today I'm making it for a neighbor who is moving. Her and her family are moving. And I thought, well, you know what? This will be a great little cake for them to have when they're on the road. I'm gonna go ahead and um, probably try to slice it up if I can, if it cools down quick enough and uh, bag it in individual bags for them. And then, because they have several kids, and it'd be just nice for them to be able to just hand one of the kids a bag with some cake in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. It's not a difficult cake to make, but it sure is good. So I hope that you will share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, enjoy this cake. So let's get started. We're gonna use a yellow cake mix. Okay, one yellow cake mix, and I'm using Betty Crocker, and we're just going to dump it in. Let me set this aside because I want to show you something else. I'm going to go ahead and put together what we're going to fill this cake with. We're going to start off with one third cup packed light brown sugar. and two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. And we're just gonna mix this up. Normally, I would just whisk this together, and which you can. Uh, I just happen to have the spatula uh, handy, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use the spatula. But to me, whisking is so much easier. Okay, so that's all mixed together, and that's how you want it all well combined in a bunt pan. Now this is one of my, what I call one of my pretty bunt pans. I really like the way this one comes out, especially at Christmas. You can um, do many different cakes in this and make it really pretty at Christmas time. What I have done is I have uh, taken some Pam spray and sprayed it all over with Pam. Really good. And I'm just gonna put that aside and until we're ready for the batter and I'm preheating my oven at 350, so make sure you preheat that oven. So now back to the cake mix. So I've shown you that I put in one yellow cake mix. Now let's start dumping everything else in. Now we're gonna put in one 3.4 ounce of cheesecake pudding. We're gonna put in three-fourths of a cup of vegetable oil and three-fourths cup of water. Four large eggs. And one teaspoon of vanilla. Mine is clear. Now I'm gonna beat this on low for just about a minute. Now we're gonna crank it up to medium for two minutes. Now we're bringing the butt pan back over. We're getting ready to pour the batter in. But before I put the batter in, I wanna put in some pecans, just some chopped up pecans. This is a half a cup of pecans. And just sprinkle them in. Perfect. Put one third of the batter in the pan. And I'm just like shaking it to make it nice and even. Now I'm gonna put half of the cinnamon and brown sugar mixture over that first layer. It's 
and you're just gonna spread it over it. You can usually get a nice little dusting all over it. And then I shake it again. This is so good, guys. You've got to try this recipe. You're gonna love it. Anyone that comes to your house or anyone you serve this to is gonna love it. So just shake it like that and get it nice and even. It's such a fun, easy cake to make. Now we're gonna put another third of the batter in. So now we're gonna sprinkle in the remainder of the cinnamon sugar mixture. Even the little kids, even though the little sky's not here today, um, even the little kids would love doing this. This is so much fun for them. And it's so easy to spread if you just shake, shake, shake. There we go. And now let's top that with the last of the batter. Now this batter is a little thicker than you would think, and that's normal. This batter is always thicker because it is a bunt cake and it is moist and delicious. And you will be eating on it for days if there's any left. This would be great for a church breakfast. This would be awesome for that. Um, any ladies get together, perfect. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven for 55 minutes. When I bring it out, I'm gonna let it cool a little bit. I'm going to turn it over and then eventually bring the pan off of it. I like to let it cool sometimes with the pan still on it. And then when the heat really goes out of it, slowly lift the pan up and let it cool completely. And then we're gonna make a yummy glaze to go on top. I can't wait to give this to my neighbors. So let me get in the oven. Y'all look at this yummy cake. I just took it out of the oven. I'm gonna let it cool down for probably more like 15, 20 minutes, something like that. And then I'm gonna flip it over and let it finish cooling. And then I'm gonna put a yummy icing on it. Okay, y'all, I'm about to finish up on this cake. I have the cake cooling. So now I'm gonna make the icing that's gonna go on top. So we're gonna do a cup of powdered sugar and we're gonna sift it with a whisk. Then we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And this is two tablespoons of almond milk. I'm just gonna put a little bit in at a time until I get the right consistency. Start off about a tablespoon. I don't want it too thin because of the way I do it on top of the cake. I like kind of a thick icing. So I think that one tablespoon is gonna be perfect. And that vanilla smells so good. I'm gonna put this in a piping bag and just drizzle it on the cake. So I have my bag in my cup. Of course, the hole isn't made yet. Sometimes I have it even thicker than this. Okay, 
it is ready to ice. I'm just gonna do a nice little drizzle all over this. Like I said, sometimes I like it thicker than this. And we're just gonna let it fall. You can see the pecans on top right this minute. This is kind of a quick version of it tonight. Like I said, sometimes it's thicker and it just stays white. I don't know if this is gonna stay white. But there it is. And those pecans, oh, the pecans just make it, and that cinnamon. And I'm gonna slice into it and um, make it easy for the family just to grab a piece while they're on the road. So um, I have talked to them. They know that I'm bringing it, so I need to get this to them. But um, I'm gonna slice it and show you some pictures at the end of the video. So make sure you share this uh, video because this is one worth sharing. So, and uh, thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel and uh, y'all have a great evening. Bye-bye.